It's Gracie and happy almost July 4th. If you don't already know from the title, the thumbnail, and just how I am looking and from what I just said, if you already don't know in general, um, this is a 4th of July video and it's a collab with Amanda X Beauty and I'm like obsessed with her channel and she's just so sweet and I'm so excited that we're collabing. Pretty much I'm showing you guys how to have the best 4th of July ever so yeah let's get started into this video this has already been a long enough intro starting off with this delicious fourth of july flag toast this is so good by the way i just got a piece of gluten-free bread some almond butter i put some blueberries in the corner to represent like the stars and then i chopped up bananas and strawberries small enough to represent the stripes and guys this combination was just so good Next on how to make this really pretty pillow, all you're going to need is an old white t-shirt. Then I took some red, white, and blue markers and I just drew little fireworks on it. And then this part is where it gets a little bit tricky. But I just smudged it with an astringent and this actually works in place of rubbing alcohol. So if you have rubbing alcohol, I would recommend that. But I didn't, so I just used an astringent and hand sanitizer mixed and then I scrunched it all up and it created a really cute pattern. And then I just went on making a pillow, which is shown in all these clips. Now I thought I would show you guys my essentials. So my first one is obviously a given, sunscreen. And my favorite is the Hawaiian Tropic. It smells so good, and I think the way it comes out of the tube is so cool. And because summer is so hot, I need something to keep my drink cool. So I just put my water in my cool ice owl tumbler cup, and it's awesome. And me personally, I like to document fun times I have with friends, and the Polaroid is perfect for that, especially on the 4th of July, which is always a fun time. And I don't really know why, but country music is just my favorite type of music around the 4th of July, and I don't have any clips of that, so here are just some random clips of me chilling and rocking out. And I think red lipstick is a 4th of July must-have for literally everybody. And here are some creepy close-ups of me. Enjoy. And now I'm going to show you guys how you can make your socks. Really cute. These are like knockoff Victoria's Secret socks. Literally all I did was get some markers, draw two lines, and write out pink in the same font as the Victoria's Secret pink. It was so easy and it didn't turn out perfect, but... For how easy it was, it turned out pretty good. And then for this really cute and easy 4th of July nail look, it also kind of looks like a galaxy by the way. Um, pretty much what I did was just paint a dark red and a medium blue and then a light blue on a washcloth and then I just put them on my nails. It created a nice ombre effect and then I just painted it over with a glitter nail polish. It was super easy but super festive and cute. The first outfit idea is probably more casual. The hairstyle I did with it was French braids and then they went into pigtails. I wore a simple white shirt from Old Navy and my shorts are from Old Navy and I just wore some Sperry's and the DIY socks I made. The second outfit is definitely a little bit more dressy, but it's still pretty casual. The sandals are just from Target, there's a blue dress from Old Navy, and I have two bracelets and I'm not sure where they're from. That's it for this video, keep on living and peace out.